is important to see that in the most crucial passage where foreknowledge is mentioned, namely Romans 8, the text does not say that God foreknows what will happen, but foreknows us. He foreknows the people themselves. And uh, most scholars who look at those things from uh, within the Reformed heritage understand rightly, in my view, that this is akin to knowledge of human beings that you get between a husband and wife, between God and his people. God not only knows his people, he foreknows them because he's the God who actually is before all things and stands over time. He himself is is, is outside the, the time space continuum. So he, he not only knows us but foreknows us. In that sense you cannot appeal it seems to me to the foreknowledge of God to ground for ordination in a kind of a conditional dependence on decision uh, in which God has had no say.